Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here at doing the monthly reading for our Scorpios for the month of May 2018. I have a new deck. So when I was in California, I was called to get a new deck, and this is the Sacred Geometry Activation. So what this means is you'll actually get an activation of energy for this month, and this is going to be your, we're going to use this card for your theme for this month. So you'll get that energy activation to help you move through the month with more ease and grace, which is the whole purpose of doing these readings for you, right? And then we'll be getting a little bit more information from my regular deck. And lastly, we'll be using the butterfly deck. So this is all about life changes. There's lots of changes that are happening in people's lives right now. And so super important to go ahead and um, really embrace and, and see what the flow and the energy is of that. So speaking of you know, change, your theme for this month is change. This is the activation. And when the activation of change comes in for you, it is about being in that space of embracing the change, right? That's the only constant in life is change because how boring would it be if nothing ever changed? Of course, we want change, but sometimes it's uh, changes that we're more looking forward to and other times not as much, right? So um, the energy of this change card is really to be in a place of like looking at like, how do you handle change? And what have you changed about yourself um, or what has changed in your life in the last year? What is it that you still want to change? So these are really good questions for you to be asking yourself this month and be in a space of embracing the change because that's the way to do it. Go with the flow, um, welcome the change, embrace it, and things are a lot um, smoother for you. When we fight things, of course, what we resist persists and what we fight against um, causes us more angst. So we really want to be in a space of flowing because everything that's happening in your life is happening for you, right? It's not random. It's never random. It's always happening for you. Okay, let's see what we got going here. All right, so we got a pretty good balance, earth, air, and water. Not a lot of fire energy, um, so no fire energy here, which indicates to me that there's maybe not going to be as much action, not as much um, activity in, um, this particular month. So let's see what's coming up here. We've got the eight of earth coming in, um, which is um, eight of earth is all about, earth cards are about how you make your money and what you need to do to be here on earth. And this is about your some of your um, work or your skills being rewarded, so sort of getting a pat on the back for the things that you have done, but it also has to do with going back to school. So you notice there's books in this card, right? This is about going back to school. It's about learning everything you can about a particular subject. This is gonna be something that you're gonna be excited to learn about, something that you are interested in, and this is a beautiful month to begin that. So great energy for you around that. And then we've got the page of air coming in. Air cards are all about the head and the intellect, and this page of air is challenging information, okay? And sometimes we get information or things come to us in a way that doesn't feel very good. And that's part of what might be happening for you here that, you know, they're just, you're, you're getting information and you're like, oh, they, you kind of want to be mean to the messenger because they didn't deliver it in a very nice way. But please don't do that, right? Know that, again, everything happens for you and embrace the change. So again, about embracing that change. And there may just be, you know, for you to know some delays or some changes to your plans, okay? So again, it's about going with the flow, being, being in that place of being malleable, uh, a shapeshifter, if you will. And then we've got two of water coming in, one of my favorite cards. Water cards are all about the depth of emotion. And this, of course, the two has to do with relationship. Um, this is a relationship that's deepening, that's getting stronger, a stronger connection. And um, it's also about, uh, uh, you know, any conflicts that you may have had now being resolved. So there's that sense of like, the water is calming, if you will, and uh, any conflicts or, you know, big waves that you've had now are, are calming down and are resolving. So that's a beautiful energy for this month for you too. 
let's see what we've got for the change aspect. So since you've got change as your uh, theme for this month, I would expect there's going to be some uh, maybe significant change items that come up in this little spread here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oops. Okay. All right, so we've got uh, <laughs> spiritual growth. I'm sorry, I just have to laugh because this card has come up, come up so many flipping times. It's crazy. A spiritual growth. So we're apparently all going through spiritual growth right now. So you're not the only ones. Um, spiritual growth is happening for everyone because we are being up leveled at this time. We are all going through growth and in particular this is an important piece of the changes that you're going to be experiencing this month. Changes in your spiritual connection perhaps, um, opening to learning more about yourself which is also spiritual growth. Um, and also learning or, or coming to understand the more of the spiritual truths that can also be encompassed in the spiritual growth aspect of things. One thing that is going to help you this month is volunteering. So it's important for you to volunteer your time, your energy, money, whatever it is that speaks to you. And volunteering helps you get more in touch with that sense of giving, right? And uh, when we're in a space of giving, of course, that's going to come back to us multiplied. So it's a really beautiful energy. And not only is it great to be helpful to other people, to help others out um, who may be less fortunate or need assistance in some way, it also feels really good to you. So that's going to be something to do this month. And then we have gracefully aging coming up for you as well, which it's again, you know, ties into that change because it's about embracing the changes that our bodies are experiencing because our bodies do ex experience change as we get older and embracing that, you know, that we're aging gracefully accepting and being in that space of like oh you know this is the way my body is now and and let's make um the most of the energy that we have to do this or to do that or the other thing moving our bodies are always very important uh, to help us stay young and doing that on a daily basis is a great thing to do too so that also is coming in um, to have activity, right? To be active so that you may ease, you may ease into the, the aging process more gracefully. So that's what I have for you guys for this month. Stay tuned for the next video that's going to give you um, just a little bit of information about what I've been up to or what I'm doing these days. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when new videos come out. And I love, love, love your comments. So even if you just comment and say, oh, this really resonated with me, or I love this, or you know, whatever it is, I really appreciate your comments um, so, so much. And it does help me feel more connected to you. So I don't feel like I'm doing this in a bubble, right? So much love to you guys. Have a great month. Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here to share with you a very, very special brand new offering that I am bringing forth this month. And it's so crazy because the angels had me sort of scrambling to put this together literally in less than a week. And I'm just like, I just shaking my head a little bit at them. And I'm also super excited about it. So this is a program that is starting in March and it's something that will be a continuous thing. And you can join at any time and leave at any time. It's really a beautiful energy around the swirl. It is called Angel Message Circle what a beautiful thing that's brought in around that so what is the circle about the circle is the group format and this is really about uh, energetic support for you within the circle so the other members in the group are also going to be supporting of you and i'm also part of the circle as well obviously but we also have the archangels that are in the circle supporting you. And you, 
don't, until you've experienced this, it's a really uh, an amazing, amazing energy to be swirling in. I had a group that I ran for about a year and a half, the Angel, um, it was a Zodiac membership group, and I ran it for about a year and a half. There were 40 some members, about 33 that were actually very active. And it was just this beautiful energy around the group format. So what I'm doing is, is similar to that, but also a little bit different. Here's how it works. Three times a month, I will be doing a Facebook Live in a private Facebook group. So you will be part of a private Facebook group. So that's our circle, right? And I will be doing a Facebook Live three times a month where you get the opportunity to ask your personal question. And even if you can't make the Facebook Live, whatever time that's at, you still get to submit the question and I will answer it within the Facebook Live. And there's also interaction within the Facebook as well. So if you have clarifying questions about something, I'm able to pop in there and share that information and guidance with you. So the first three weeks of the month, once a week, I'll be popping in and doing this Facebook Live where you get um, the answers to your specific personal questions. But the coolest thing about this, and I've seen this, how it works, is the questions that other people in the group ask are also giving information to you about your life. So it's this beautiful energy of, and even we had lots of members that didn't ask questions and they still benefited from the questions that everyone else asked. So super cool energy around that. And then I will be popping into the Facebook once a week to provide a, um, what they were showing me around this is some sort of message from spirit. So it might be pulling a card, it might be a postcard from spirit, it might just be a download from spirit. They're not really sharing with me exactly how that's gonna come through and it might vary is what they're kind of telling me in this moment. So once a week you'll also get that message from spirit and it's really to help you navigate that week. So it's gonna give you information about the energy of that particular week. And this is a super low cost program. You actually get to try it for the first month for only $9. So it's a way, an opportunity for you to pop in there and see what, you know, if you enjoy it, if you like it, if the energy feels good to you, right? If you want to continue, then you will be, um, uh, charge $27 per month, which is really when you think about it, I charge $70 for a 30 minute reading. And this is essentially getting an hour reading three times a month, at least an hour, because I always go until all the questions are answered. So sometimes it might be an hour and a half. Um, sometimes it, uh, I have even gone, I think close to two hours in the past when there have been a lot of questions. And um, so essentially you get three hours of reading from me, energetic um, messages and also energy work from the archangels that are working within our circle for only $27, which normally if you were gonna do three hour reading with me uh, for a month, that um, would, I, cut, I charge $135 for an hour reading, so that would cost you almost $400, and you're getting it for $27. So what an amazing deal that is for you. I have put the information in the links below, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Um, sign on for the first month, see how it goes. If you don't, if, if it's not resonating with you, I invite you and I encourage you um, to pop out of the group, to unsubscribe. If you enjoy it, uh, then keep the subscription up and you'll have this amazing energy to support you for the rest of the year. So good, so good, so good. I am sending you all kinds of love and light. And again, super excited about those that are being called to join the Angel Message Circle. Much love to you.